What's up guys, Rich Duberbash. I'm out here at uh, Fast Track Hobbies in Rockin, California. We want to give a big shout out to Dwight and the whole crew. This is definitely my favorite home hobby shop here. They pretty much got every truck you can imagine. So basically I just want to do a little short overview with two of my favorite platforms of all time. I've got the brand new, this was just released about I think six days ago. It's this Arma Outcast 6S EXP. But this one's an RTR which is super cool. And then over here I've got my tank Trugified Typhon that I've had for several years and it's totally hopped up. So anyway guys, going over this truck again, like I said, this is a brand new release from Arma. You'll notice these wheels look a little bit smaller because I went ahead and put on the backflip LPs which are a little bit smaller than the stock backflip. I just wanted to shave some weight and I really like the handling of the smaller wheel. Some other things with this truck. Obviously, it's got a beautiful body. Arma always does a killer job with their design, so hats off to their design team. This thing's got some scratches and a little bit of dirt on it. <clears throat> Just finished wrenching this morning. I actually did some changes to the truck. You'll notice I took off the tower-to-tower -tower brace. I prefer to have a little bit, of cha little bit more chassis flex myself. Other than that, you'll see these shiny shock caps on here. I just installed the M2C Racing ZRS bladderless shock system. Mitch Looper with uh, M2C, he's just a genius. He designed this specialized piston inside here that actually has an O-ring. It's got little slits in it that'll apply pressure to the shock body during rebound. So basically what you're left with is a really, really plush setup. This truck's got the same. You'll see how nice that is. So again, guys, this is the first Outcast 6S. That's an RTR and EXP. Basically, it's got Spectrum Electronics. It's got a 2050 kV motor. I'm running a 16 tooth Robinson Racing Pinion on there. Truck comes with both a 12 tooth and a 16 tooth. And then you've got the Spectrum 150 amp ESC here. I did go ahead and swap out the steering servo this morning. The stock Spectrum was okay. It just didn't quite have the torque I was looking for. So you'll see the EXB models, guys. They come with 7075. They come with a 7075 T6 chassis here. And then they also come with 7075 towers. And then you've got aluminum chassis braces. You've got some other nice little tidbits. You've got really nice geometry in the back. The shocks are the, the shock towers are just a little bit narrower, puts the shock in a little more upright position. They've actually gone to this with the V5 ready to run base models as well. So I've only had this truck out one, one time so far, guys, at Folsom Lake, one of my favorite spots. So far, this thing's done awesome. The only thing I busted was my wing mount. And that was part of the reason why I decided to go ahead and just take the tower to tower off only because the triangular bracing, I think it puts a little too much torque on here. And the way it is now feels perfect. I'm able to bend the chassis just a little bit. So that improves kind of handling and just kind of keeping the wheels on the ground. So moving over to this truck here, guys, this is my all time favorite. This sucker is my, started as a V2 Arma Typhon 6S. And you'll notice it's a little bit wider than a standard buggy or basically wider than it comes out of the box. That's because this one's trugified. I've been doing this for years. Basically one of the things I really love about Arma is tons of the parts are interchangeable from one model to the next. So what I did here is I just swapped on Creighton hubs, hexes and stub axles to basically widen the truck another inch. And then on top of that, I've got these new Proline belted MX28s HPs. So these tires are awesome. They're definitely a little taller than a standard buggy tire. But you'll see what you're left with is you have a little bit more ground clearance than your standard buggy you might see in a racetrack. But you're definitely a lot more stable as well. So you have the enhanced ground clearance for bashing. And you also have just enhanced stability when you're kind of cornering and drifting at speed. But a quick review of the truck, guys. Basically, this thing is far from stock at this point. I took out the old BLX 185 electronics. It's got a Hobby Wing 2200 KB. I think that's either a 16 or an 18 tooth. Got a Hexfly Hex 8 ESC here. And then you'll notice the, the kind of shiny bling on here. Basically, this thing's loaded with M2C Racing, both on the towers, the ZRS shock setup, the chassis braces, the hinge pin mounts, and then the chassis itself. This is the original M2C Racing Goliath Series chassis that I tested. I think it's been close to three years now. So, and you'll notice the suspension blocks here. These things are just butter smooth, so they have Delrin inserts. But basically, one of the reasons why this is my uh, one of my 
well pretty much is my all-time favorite this thing is just an absolute tank uh, it takes probably takes more of a beating than any truck I've ever owned and this thing is just lightning fast and it actually challenges my reflexes so it's just an absolute bullet all right guys we're just gonna give this a quick test with the little LPs with the ZRS shock set up and the tuned rear diff So anyway guys, I don't think there's any more technical stuff I need to share on either of these rigs. Uh, I'm definitely a huge fan of Arma. I've had several different brands through the decades and one of the things about Arma, like I mentioned already, is just the interchangeability of the parts. Um, aside from the speed, the durability, I just think overall they're a killer value. There's tons of aftermarket support if you want to just beef these out and just turn it into like a complete custom monster. Um, other than that, you know, Arma just keeps innovating. I mean, they've, I've been running their cars, I think five or six years now. And pretty much every year, Jason Dearden and the rest of the team at Arma, they just keep improving little small tweaks. They're more than willing to listen to Basher feedback and um, pretty much just constant innovation. So no plans to, no plans. Obviously there's a lot of nice brands out there, but I really don't have any plans to like uh, get rid of any of my trucks to be quite honest so anyway that's about it guys I've actually got plans to get out bashing today it's not I think it's only gonna be maybe a hundred degrees tops maybe a little bit cooler so um, and I do want to give Horizon Hobby and Arma another big thank you for this truck uh, Horizon sent this to me I think about a week and a half ago so again I'm still kind of getting used to it the other thing I forgot to point out is uh, the EXB models this one in particular has LSD diffs, so limited slip differentials, both rear, center, and front. So that's taken a little adjusting. Um, I did actually just use their uh, their EXP shim kit to go with a rear open diff, just because I kind of like whipping the back end around a little bit more. But uh, just like any truck, it's a work in progress. I was just had this out in the street right before I got here. Yeah, right now it's feeling nice and dialed, so. Anyway, guys, I want to give another big shout out to Dwight and the team here at Fast Track Hobbies in Rockland, California. If you guys are ever in the area, the camera definitely does not do justice to how huge this place is. But like I said, they have pretty much anything you could need. Boats, planes, and a whole huge assortment of ground-based RCs. All right, guys. Till next time. Late.